Hello Code Gurus, welcome back. So in our previous video tutorial, we have seen how to create a continuous deployment pipeline for our production application. Now there is one issue with that. So what is that issue? If you see the way we try to access that domain is using some randomly generated domain name. So since it's our production application, it's not recommended to share some random domain name with our users. So it would be more professional if we go ahead with the name, which is something close to your business. So here in our video tutorial, let's go ahead and see how to configure a custom domain name to our Amplify application. So first go to your AWS console. So over here on the left hand side, you can see something called as domain management. Click on domain management. Now, once you are under this section, just click on add domain over here. So now before you go ahead and do a configured domain, the first and foremost you need to do is you can go ahead and register that domain. So here again, AWS provides one service called as AWS Route 53, which helps you to go ahead and register a domain name with them. So I will just walk you quickly walk you through those steps. So in order to register a domain name, once you are under this route 53, you have something called as uh, domain names over here, register domain names, just click on that. And over here, you have something called as register domain button. So just click over here and try to provide the domain name. If it is available, you can just go ahead and block that. So for our scenario for CodeGuru, I have already went ahead and I created a domain name over here called as codeguru.io. So now that our domain is registered, I'll go back to our Amplify console. So over here under the domain management section, I'll just go ahead and quickly click on the dropdown. So it will, what this Amplify console does is, it goes and tries to list all the domain names which you have registered with your AWS Route 53. So in our case, we just only have one domain name. So I'm happy with that. That's what the domain name which we need. So once you get selected that domain name, just click on configure domain. So once you have done that, uh, just go ahead and uncheck this thing because in, in the previously, when I tried to do the same thing, it had created an infinite redirect loop uh, between the application. So I just tend to go ahead and uncheck that and finally click on save. So what this guy does is it goes and provisions some SSL and configures all the domain name things. So here, this activation can take from minutes to hours. So once you have configured your domain name, so just give it some time. So it would definitely go ahead and take at least a couple of minutes to a couple of hours. So just give it some time. And once that is done, then you should be able to go ahead and access your application using your custom domain name. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please do not forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends. And please do not forget to click subscribe button and bell icon in order to receive instant notifications from my channel.